One of the common methods of analyzing your data is to first do some descriptive statistics to look at your data and see how it's set up. So here's an example of bursting strength of plastic bottles, I assume, from Montgomery's intro to SPC. In the QI macros, we'd come over and choose ANOVA tools, descriptive statistics. And that would go out and do a wide variety of calculations here, draw us a little histogram and so on. So here you can see it looks like normal data. Here's our box plot. We have a couple of weird outliers here. So that's a little odd. If you look at our normal probability plot, it's pretty much on the line. R squared is 9.97, which means it's a good fit. This basically says our data is normal. Now this is one of those weird cases where it may or may not, uh, all of the indicators, all the signs may not uh, match up. One of the tools that we use in, to analyze uh, normal normality is Anderson Darling. And here you can see we have a p-value of 0.01, which says that at 0.05, uh, we'd reject the hypothesis that the data is normal, but at 0.01, we'd accept that the, that the data is normal. And here's the A squared uh, value, which is right in between our 95 and 99 percent critical values. So again, we would accept that the, the data is normally distributed here. And the Anderson Darling can get uh, snagged every once in a while if there's too many ties in all this data out here. It comes over with your mean mode, standard deviation, variance. Uh, skewedness, um, and it's not really that skewed, it's skewed a little bit. Uh, kurtosis, uh, number of data points, the minimum, the maximum, the first quartile, the medians, uh, confidence intervals, standard deviations. And so this is going to calculate all of the various descriptive statistics for this particular set of data. And so from there, we can start to do some additional analysis. So use descriptive statistics to give you some insight into your data, and you can download a 30-day trial of the QI Macros for Excel from QIMacros.com.